Hey guys, welcome to Freak Motion. In this video, I will show you how to create an animated gradient background without using any third party plugins. We are going to use some shapes to create these effects inside of After Effects. You can use these backgrounds for your other projects to give that some extra attention. The best part of these designs that every design you create, it will be unique. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. Alright, first create a composition with any settings you want. Also give it a name. First create a solid layer. Now take the pen tool, and create a random shape just like this. Make sure you select the layer when you draw this shape. Now, select the layer, go to Effects and Presets, and search for Fill. Apply it on the layer. Select the layer, and press F to open Mask Feather. Increase the feather amount to a high value. Now you can change the color you like. Then go to Effects and Presets, and search for Turbulent Displace. Apply it on the layer. Now if we change the evolution value, then we can see the movement on the color. We use this technique to animate the background color. Hold Alt key, then click on this stopwatch icon. Then type, Time Multiply 200. Now it will keep moving to the end of the timeline. Select the layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate of this layer. Change the color you like. and move these points randomly. Just like this. Keep making copies of this layer, and change the shapes of N. You can change the random speed value from here, so all movements don't look same. Keep doing the same process until you get your desired results. The best part of this is, you never get same output twice. Every time you will get a unique design of background. For me this is not the best output, but I just wanted to show you the way. The more time you spend here, the more beautiful results you get. Now to make it more interesting, for composed all the layers. Give it a name. Then go to Effects and Presets, and search for Wave Warp Effect. Double click to apply this on the layer. Now if we change the wave height and width value, then you can see that we get some different results. Let's change the wave type to Sawtooth. Now apply another wave wrap effect on this layer. Keep the wave type sign. And if we change the direction to 180, then we can see a cool pattern on the gradient background. Play with the height and width value to get different results. You can change the type to triangle.
That looks really awesome. You can try different types of wave from here. Here is the noise type preset also. Try to play with these values, and create your own style. So this is a very easy technique to create an animated gradient background. This is all for today, I will catch you guys in the next week, with a new video. Till then, keep exploring.